Hi, Dr. William Starjack here. I'm doing another demonstration with the Photonodynamus on how it works, what its capabilities are. Uh, you may notice my neck's a little red. I just finished making one of my other videos on hair removal. All right, so I went in through here to help remove this hair so I don't have to shave there. Um, so please check out that video if you're interested in hair removal. But in this one, I'm gonna talk about the other laser that's on this system, and it's the Erbium YAG, and that one we use for resurfacing. But the reason I'm making this video is I wanna show you the different ways that we can resurface. I wanna show you, you know, what it looks like so you can really understand the options that we have. So the first one is a round beam, a beam that is uh, completely um, applied. It's not at all fractionated, it's not disrupted. We're passing through all of the laser energy and we can select how big that is. In this case, I'm gonna put it at seven millimeters. You'll see from the red light what that looks like, right? Looks like a full circle. So I can just demonstrate this right here on my forearm. So you'll see right like this. Hear that sound? And then let's see, can you see that little white mark right there? Let me move that in nice and close. It's pretty subtle, but you can see it there. That's because, you know, I passed the full beam through. That whole red bit um, laser shot and hit that whole surface. And so those upper skin cells were vaporized and also a little desiccated. That's where they're white. The, the water was basically evaporated out of them. Now, that, that whiteness, if I went deeper, it would turn yellow as I got into the deeper epidermis and we can go all the way down to the uh, upper dermis, the papillary dermis, and then we get little um, spots of blood. Now we use this if we want to get our best skin tightening, our deepest resurfacing, our greatest ability to remodel scars. Um, but let's just say we don't, we don't want to use the whole beam. We want to fractionate it so we have these unaffected islands of normal skin that, it, that healing can happen more quickly. Let me show you what that looks like. Okay, our first level of fractionation is this uh, pixelated form, or the PSO, uh, it's, what is it, it's the PSO3X is what we call it. <clears throat> so this has a few advantages. Mostly we use this when we are using a really long pulse with the Erbium YAG, where we're not trying to ablate skin, we're just trying to deposit heat to get skin tightening. Or we also use this mode when we are doing thermal treatment for the hairline. The advantage of this mode is that the full area is not being affected. So it really makes it much more tolerable of a procedure when we're depositing heat. So around the hairline, where if we did a full beam, uh, it'd be really hot. But when we, when we disrupt it like this, you'll see, hold on a sec, like look at my forehead for instance. So you can see there's little dots. Then there's areas that are hot, areas that are cool, so it makes it more tolerable. We use this one inside the mouse, mouth for causing tightening and helping to narrow that lower part of the face. We use it around the lips to help with the version of the lips when we do lip lace. We use it for um, uh, night lace when we go into the soft palate and tighten that, lift it and pull it forward through this thermal deposition, this thermal stimulus of neocollagenesis so that people can sleep without snoring. Um, actually, the initial studies are showing that it is as effective as CPAP for sleep apnea. So, very cool, um, but I'll show you what it looks like when we do ablate. Like, when we're using the thermal mode, we won't actually see this sort of, uh, of effect on the skin, but if we do take it to levels where it's ablated, we do a really quick pulse that has enough energy to ablate, we see these little dots. See if you can see that there. Yeah, so it's right next to that other one. You see those little dots right in there, right? So that's the pixelated form. We can resurface with this, but generally we'd either go fully fractionated or we'd go uh, the, the full beam if we're resurfacing. We really want to generally use this when we're just trying to deposit heat to stimulate collagen and we don't want any downtime. Another one we use it for is around the eyes we can do, a, it's called the smooth eye, is the trademark term, but it just helps to tighten up those tissues. All right, let me show you the fully fractionated one now. Okay, so this is the fractionated hand piece, and this is gonna affect 
five to 10% of the surface area. With any of these lasers, we set how deep the laser is gonna go. We can see right on the device the estimation of the micrometer depth that it goes to, and also how much heat it's going to deposit. The depth is determined by how much energy we're using in a given area, and the heat is determined by how long we keep that pulse going for. So if we want amazing skin tightening, amazing um, rejuvenation and just for a, for a full resurfacing or for a fractional resurfacing, we want to go deep, we want to go hot. But if say we're working with a scar, well we don't want to go hot. We want to go deep to get remodeling, but we don't really need to get a thermal effect. So we can make the pulse duration really short. So it delivers all this energy quick, goes deep, disrupts the scar so that healing, natural healing can come in and rejuvenate that appearance, soften that out, but not creating a lot of, um, of a thermal effect that would cause more collagen creation. Right here, see that? Right there, and then you gotta look a little bit closer to see that one. That out. Point that out to you. So we got, there's the full one, there's the pixelated, or there's the, yeah, pixelated, and there is the fractionated. So there you have it. Um, fractionated is a really good option. If you want to go deep, you want to get collagen remodeling, but you don't want to have a lot of downtime, and you want to lessen um, the discomfort of the procedure. Again, we numb, so whatever we're, we're doing at, right away when it's being done, it's not going to be um, any more uncomfortable, but afterwards, so afterwards, if you fully resurface really deep, well, it's gonna be more uncomfortable than if you do a fractionated resurfacing. Also, it's gonna heal faster if you do a fractionated resurfacing. You can see there's a spot on me I did um, about a week ago. When I go full depth, it's right there, right? That's about a week out of healing. And uh, this is uh, um, about two thirds as deep as that one was. And there's one I did there that was really shallow that's gone. That was gone in two days. So you have the advantage of uh, less downtime and still maintaining really good efficacy. But the other option is we can use it for drug delivery. So we use exosomes. We can do a fractionated resurfacing all across the face and then apply exosomes. Or we could apply PRP or really any sort of topical medication. Um, like transexamic acid to help with lightening the skin. We could do it that way as well. So it's a really versatile laser. There's so much we can do with it. Uh, if you're thinking about doing a laser resurfacing, please reach out to us. We do free consultations, and I promise we'll take really good care of you and that you'll be happy you did.